Still out here, huh? I have a responsibility to my PTV viewers, Brian. And nothing says must-see TV like a five-day, non-stop Mr. Belvedere marathon. Gotta say, I never really cared for that show. Put out kind of a weird vibe. Shh, shh, shh. I think this is the one where Mr. Belvedere sits on his own nuts. And there's the weird vibe. This is a day to remember, Rupert. My mind control device is complete. As soon as I broadcast my commands over the fat man's satellite dish, I shall be the most powerful dictator since Dick Cheney. Uh, why the devil are you dressed like that? No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm not criticizing. I just, I just don't understand your need to prance around like a scoutmaster on Labor Day weekend. What the hell is going on out there? Bertram, did your mothers stop cleaning their carpets long enough to let you out of the house? That was a jab at their sexuality. I'm here for one thing, and one thing only, Stuart. Your satellite dish. Oh, marvelous. I see you stopped touching yourself long enough to learn how to play this thing. Well, let's get on with it. Do you see that? It means you can activate this object by pushing the button, dumbass. Too high for you? Try hitting the jump button again when you're at the top of the first jump, genius. My boyfriend, Prince William, got me this beautiful watch. I'm not a boy! Oh god, this is so embarrassing! Stewie, guess what word I'm thinking of right now. And it's not kitty. I really wouldn't know. Go on, guess a word. But, but it's not kitty. Is it kitty? <gasps> Get out of my head! My ray gun just needs one more part. Let's check outside. Just try not to step. This is Peter Griffin with PTV, giving you the Mr. Belvedere Marathon. What I'll need to get that door unlocked. Perhaps I shall use this mind control ray to force Lewis to do it. Ah! Damn! It appears the microwave is disrupting my mind control. I shall need to use an indirect method. Perhaps something involving the dog? Uh, honey, I'm doing the dishes. Ah, oh, what's that smell? Well, my, my, Mr. Hoover's come to visit. <laughs> Lois, this is not funny. I, 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 I really don't... I don't like this. I must find a way to reach the roof in order to confront Bertram, and then perhaps work on a sweet tab. I knew you're new at this, but what about targeting our enemies with a lock-on feature? It's there for a reason. If you hold it down, you can achieve a greater release. Got it? That helicopter! I have to go all black hot down on it. I shall destroy the remote and its owner. Excellent. One of my sky hooks. Good thing my bribes at City Hall paid off. Hey, don't forget to put in these hooks. Why? Because some infant gave me a hundred bucks? Ah, oh, it's one of those cutaways like you see on television. However, this is a video game, so they are interactive. Succeed, and I'll get more power-ups for my ray gun. Quite a gap. 
Time to use my glide apparatus. Not so fast, Bertram. I'd rather the dish be destroyed than have it fall into your hands. Hey, keep it down up there. If that's Meg or some kind of squirrel, I'm gonna get my shotgun. Fool! I tricked you into destroying your own satellite dish. Now I can proceed unimpeded with my own plan for world domination. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Goodbye, Stewart! Okay, some kind of squirrel or Meg, stop interrupting my program! Peter! Oh my god! Brian, call an ambulance! I'll go get my purse! Ugh, this looks like an Iraqi trailer park. Bertram's obviously been planning this attack for some time. But what's his master plan? I must find out! Therefore, I have no choice but to shrink myself down and infiltrate his lair within the fat man's testicles. Gross. You know, I have to come out to this hospital so often, they should name it after me. Ooh, death is here. I better get to the fat man before he does. Hey, keep out of there! We have a cold ground! Baby with a ray gun! Help! All right, you... Ow, my pinky! Victory is mine! If I destroy that red junction box, these laser walls will disappear. So there's that. <laughs> Right in the scapula! Shower, please. Ha 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 Oh man, look at him squirm. Ah, uh, this hurts. Are you guys dead yet? I got a schedule to keep. No, I want to go for a walk. Oh gosh, sorry, I didn't know. I'll try to hurry my demise along. Water and electricity. A wonderful combination when thinking about Lewis, but here and now it may impede my progress. Dr. Smith to the ICU. Dr. Smith. Never mind. While normally I would be overjoyed at causing this much destruction, I have more pressing matters.
you're a good. <laughs> Ow. Oh, it sucks. Blast it all! In this model, the aperture is all the way at the top. Cursed Koreans and their slipshod ergonomics. Security, there is a man in a red and yellow floral shirt stuck in the nurse's shower. Security, to the nurse's shower, please. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Me on the big screen. Oh, yeah, baby, I'm looking good. like Bible camp. has come out of there in six years. My ray gun does more damage. Soon bird from your ovens shall come. I'll save you! Charging! Clear! Victory is mine! This laser grid is more complex. I must direct my ray gun blast more accurately. Machine. Hmm, it's in use. I shall have to find the power switch. A stray blast could destroy the equipment. I must use mind control. And this little piggy went back to my place for a roofy collider. Oh, oh my god, female x rays! Ah. Hey, anyone have a towel? 
<laughs> hey, wanna play doctor? Ugh! Pervert cooties! Hey nurse, can you examine this lump? Stay away from me! <laughs> Are you the head nurse? Oh god, I'd rather die! This tank has a nipple. Giggity. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Damn it! Still one channel open. I just need one more person. Someone expendable. Pornographic scene viewable by pressing up, up, down, down, left. Huh. Horny gamers believe anything. Seabreeze? Hey! Boy, you smell... <laughs> inseminated. I can't believe you're pregnant again. God, didn't you learn anything the last time? Would you like some water? A treat? Towel to bleed on? I knew it! Arrest this dog! He violated my restraining order and impregnated Seabreeze! What? No, I didn't! He's lying! And he's not Caucasian! Oh! I'm not the father, Joe! Unless you can prove that, Brian, we gotta lock you up. Damn it, a speed bump. Who's the wise guy that put this speed bump here? It's not funny! Horowitz, I'm looking at you! Yeah! Oh, yeah! Laugh it up, guys! This is in poor taste! Okay, rule one for fugitives. Don't let anyone see you. Shadows, like martinis, are your friends. Through the room with the orcs. Up past the secret underground lab. Oh, God, that smells worse than Meg's room. Ah, oh, I feel like I'm giving birth to a brick. That's the second most disturbing thing I've ever seen. Hi, I'm Brian, and this is the first of my interactive non-sequiturs. Play this successfully, and I'll turn invisible for a short period of time. Thanks for listening. God, I wish I knew what lies ahead. Stop running, you! Why do we do these things to each other? You run faster than my stepdad. Want the prell or don't you? <laughs> After this, let's go grab a snack.
So the socioeconomic structure of the streets is what is responsible for our situation. No, no, it's all a matter of our genetic makeup, nature over nurture. If I'm gonna find out who the real father of Seabreeze's puppies is, I need some clues. Looks like Brooks was here. This is part of the police file on Seabreeze. Jackpot. That guy couldn't find his ass with a magnifying glass and a map. That guard might be a problem. Maybe I can find something to distract him. Just switch this one over to the women's shower. That ought to keep them busy. Oh! That water is so cold! Don't worry. I can make it hot for you. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, yeah, baby. Bet if I hid under this desk, they couldn't see me at all. Cabinet is that filed in again? Attention all officers, please remember to warm your hands before frisking perps. Thank you. Whose rules should I play by? Heck, I'll just play by my own rules. Another clue! Nice. What would Danny Glover do? Somebody stealing my water. They're crafty, I'll tell you. It happens when you least expect it. Now my ray gun does more damage. Soon Bertram your uppers shall come. Hey son, give me some help over here. The liposuction machines are leaking fat all over the place and I'm trapped in it. I need three machine parts to fix it. Get them for me and I'll be able to open the door for you. Oh, to be the Lindbergh baby right about now. I'm so glad to see the nurses have found something constructive to do with this mess. Workmanship. I find better form pieces in my diaper. Hey, son, hurry it up in there. The fat has reached the nipple line.
forecast for tomorrow. A few sprinkles of genius with a chance of doom! It's lucky I'm saving my vengeance for Bertram. More antiquated material. Modern medicine indeed. Three of the machine, hooray and such. Thanks a lot, little guy. The door should be open now. Hey, Brad. How long before you think you end up in here? Oh, a long time, unless I run into a baby with a ray gun. But what are the odds of that? I wish I'd studied Shakespeare now, so I'd have something to quote before dying! I'm hanging out with my boyfriend. You will see me again, Stewie Griffin. Because I got a few to pick up in the ICU. Dr. Miller, Dr. Rubin, your patients are saddled up in gynecology. Dr. Miller? Dr. Rubin to gynecology. Finally, the way out! Undead baby! Punch him in the head! All right, maggots. Information, just like we practiced. 
What in the name of the bloody bowels of hell? Come on, you apes! Press those lines! Maintain your interval! Bite my anus! Stand! Dr. Davis to surgery! You left your watch- This is not a drill! The fat man! Now to find a way to dispatch those nurses. Damn, I hate these last minute additions. Damn, I was gonna ask her out later. As if I don't already have enough to do. How ironic. Angel of Mercy meets Angel of Death. What the hell's wrong with this thing? Come on, die already! Damn, I hate these last minute addi- Well, splendid! This calls for a sexy party! Thanks to this pill, I shall have no trouble breathing inside the fat man's body. All right, let's get small. Lois? Lois? Oh, what the hell happened? All I remember is Mr. Belvedere was there, and, and I remember something whacking me in the head. Belvedere! That's it. Mr. Belvedere has kidnapped my family and for some reason wants me dead. Well, I'll have to destroy you first, you evil, crafty nanny, or, or, or butler, or, 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 or whatever kind of freaky thing you had going on there. Oh! Nice try, Belvedere. Thinks he can just take me out with one of his brainwashed henchmen disguised as a nurse? Well, it's gonna take a lot more than that to keep me from getting back Lois and Brian and Chris and Stewie and... And, uh... Oh, damn. Uh, I wanna say... I wanna say Russ? From the youngest child to the oldest nagging grandma, none shall escape my fists of fury. Damn you, Belvedere! You've corrupted both the young and the old! Stupid trash can! Look at it over there, being all smug. I'm doing a you with kind of shilling. Freaking sweet. Holy Christ. Hey, stop it. Young hoodlum. My pelvis. My teeth. So, Mr. Belvedere has corrupted the police force, eh? Oh, call for backup! Damn these mimes and their invisible walls!
Ah, just like in the nursing home. Just cough up the snacks and no one gets hurt. What? <laughs> Don't move, dirtbag. That is freaking sweet! Call 911! <laughs> 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 Ah, cops. The poor man's robo-cops. Hey, you! Well, I feel tougher than Steve Austin's left leg. Oh crap! Hey, you games are supposed to hurt! Bring it on! Ooh. Ah, you bastard! Call 911! Young hoodlum! You know what else you can't see? The writing on the wall. Vaudeville's dead. The TV's the box they're gonna bury it in. Back then, everybody had a specialty. I, for one... I saw this in a video game! Ah! Oh, crap! Oh. oh, crap! Oh, crap! Stay away from my food, fatty! For the love of God, haven't any of you ever been in a cult before? Man in a styrofoam clamshell. Whatever will they think? Oh crap! Oh crap! Ah, you bastard! This reminds me of that time I tried to open that can of tuna. If I can just win this cutaway, the game designers promised me extra hot dogs for my snack meter. Freaking sweet! Man, I hate doing inventory. Some of this stuff really creeps me out. I can't even think of what crime could be associated with some of this stuff. This is why I don't vote. Vote! Oh, nice one, Mr. President. No! Vote! It's not happening. Another clue! Nice.
Hey, if this was Barney Miller, do you think I'm like... Hey, is that a lampshade? That could fool these stupid cops. Later, babe. I'm on duty right now. Where's that bag of seven heads? Hmm. Time for the old lampshade disguise. I bet there's another one of those files in here. Man, I hate doing inventory. Some of the stuff... Hey, look at that dog lamp. Attention all officers. Please remember to warm your hands before frisking perps. Thank you. Click. This is part of the police file on Seabreeze. Jackpot. All right, here's another one. Where's that bag of seven heads? Whoa, where did that lamp come from? Click. Man, I hate doing inventory. Some of this stuff really creeps me out. Hey, there's Seabreeze. Click. Just remember, even morons know lamps don't move. This is a costume. This is a costume. It was my lunch break and chicken sounded good. I knew I should have taken that off rep. Damn, I handcuffed myself to my desk again. I must remember, I can go under desks. I wish we could hear more music and less talk on the police channel. Look, Mosley, we've been over this. I'm the bad cop. You're the good cop. A test report to the captain. You will be assigned crazy no rules partners. Thank you. Hey, who put that lamp here? Fine, we're both the bad cop. Mm -hmm. Hey, who put that lamp here? Hey, who put that mm -hmm. lamp here? Mm -hmm. Hey, who put mm -hmm. that lamp here? Listen, girl, I gotta figure out who the real father is. So, uh, present. Wait, I do smell something familiar. Where have I smelled that before? Excuse me, sir, Channel 5's Eye on the Street. Today we're asking, who's a good boy? Uh, I am. Who's a good boy? I am. I'm a good boy. Tom Tucker. Maybe he's the father. I've gotta get to Channel 5 and find some proof. Good luck with the puppies. Try not to eat them. Click. Damn, I handcuffed myself to my desk again. Hey, who put that lamp here? I wish we could hear more music and less talk on the police channel. What's that smell? It's either bad meat or good cheese. Hmm. 
Reminds me of my coke habit. Oh, sire! All oh, right, here's another one. Life is a stage, and there is my costume. What the crap is that? Hey, look, it's a witch! Burn her! Ah, me, 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 I'm on fire! Put me out! Ah! I look like one of the kings of comedy. All right, Brian, I know you're a good dog. Just come out, and I won't have to taser you. Be cool, man. Control yourself. Not everything is a toilet. Whoa, I gotta be more careful. Oh God, get me out of here before I explode! You can do this all day, Brian! Give yourself up! Pardon me, sir. Have you seen a dog around? White, large muzzle walks upright. What? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Please exit the premise. I must be careful to avoid touching the lake of acid. Sort of like when I pretend the driveway is hot lava. What the deuce? It seems my arrival has dislodged a few things stuck up above. Red carpet? He's been eating red carpet! Hmm, has the fat one been eating pine cones again? Finally, a way out of this meat trap. I need to destroy these cholesterol barriers to proceed. I feel like Graham or some other whole wheat goodness. Must avoid these annoying pustules. Find a way to open that sphincter. Perhaps there's some kind of control organ. Blast! This isn't the first time I've been thwarted by my small stature. Enslave the human Over race here. doesn't cost you a dime. No, I'm the fat chick. Nope. Go. No. Okay. Now if I charge long enough, I can lob grenades. As the fat man would say, freaking sweet. Or what have you.
Whoever's in my bunk! How nice! That platform now works as an elevator should I fall back to the floor. Like a split ahead, I will have to decide which way to go. There's treachery afoot! Splendid! Giant inflated cysts and clinched sphincters. Multiply? No, oh, damn it, a bus doing blood gun in hell! I'm getting in my target package. You lied to me. You betrayed my trust. You've been sitting in front of that TV since you got home. That man's brain cell seems to be thinking about food. If I move these thoughts to the erogenous zone, perhaps the blood flow will shift to the testicles. But which one to use first? Come on, old man, move those legs! I'll take a bout. Now let's go. Wouldst thou take a gander underneath my crop? If y'all get hungry, there's some cottage cheese in the fridge. I'm gonna get me a spoonful now before y'all have at it. Done! Now let's follow the flow to the testicles. You're never gonna get me! I think I'm falling in love with you.
Candy tree got another one. You leave those kids alone. Hey, stop it. How many damn kids? Where are they coming from? Hey, stop it. Stop hitting the children. No freaking way! It's the fat guy! Get him! Oh, mommy! Where are all these damn kids coming from? I'm gonna get you! Can I close it? I did my fatherly duty. Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Ah, you bastard! Oh, call for backup! Like a parade, a parade of velvet. Ah, you bastard! Ah, you bastard! 
Posted! Trying to rescue you from Mr. Belvedere. God, look who's here! Ah, you bastard! Hey, stop it! That was weirder than that television special on fire trucks. A solitary killer, the fire truck stalks its prey. The ambulances will have to wait their turn. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? What the? Looks like a truckload of fire hydrants overturned right by the gate. That could buy me some time. I'm gonna need a disguise to slip past that security guard. I'll bet I can find something useful in that cheerleading van. Sometimes I stab myself with my badge pin just to know I'm alive. What? I said we sure got a mess here. Oh, okay. Why would you think I said? Nothing, it's, it's not important. Hydrants? Hydrants? Who delivers hydrants in 2006? Uh, maybe a delivery guy who has feelings? Hey, I'm sorry. You think I enjoy this? Delivering hydrants? You think it's a freaking party for me? I'm sorry, okay? So, where were you taking these hydrants anyway? Up your bum. What? Huh? Pardon me, I'm here for the auditions. Tee <laughs> Come on in and cheer stuff! Um, yes, here we go. Give me an F! Give me a U! Give me a C! Oh, wait, 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 we're going for a teen rating here. Gracious, what won't they use sex to sell? Go on in, sugar. Damn it, looks like they just finished. I'll bet Tom Tucker is already on his way back to his dressing room. I've got to get to that door without anyone seeing me. A videotape! Maybe one of these has evidence I can use. That's it, follow the little red light. In other news, Mayor Adam West reports that water theft is down by 13% this month. Guys would certainly help. I guess it's that time.
Hello, giant banana guy. No dog here, just giant banana guy. Hello, giant banana guy. All right, here's another tape. No dog here, just giant banana guy. Hello, giant banana guy. Huh. It's the set of the popular dance show, Channel 5's most popular dance show. Looks like I'll have to start the party or get them out of my way. It's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Way yet, way yet, way yet, way yet. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Now to just slip past these dancers and out the door. Especially those sexy female dancers with their firm legs and aggressively low self esteem. Oh, steady, Brian, steady. Nope, not this one. Gotta keep looking. Another for the collection. Well, there are more tapes around here than pimples on Meg's ass. Ah, there you are! You were supposed to be here an hour ago. I'm assuming you read the script, so we're just gonna do this, okay? Places, people! And... action! <laughs> Heroic dog! You're too late to save little Woodrow from my evil clutches! <laughs> Help me, Heroic dog! Oh, come on! Who puts giant smashing things in a lumber mill? Some of these blades I can duck under. This... this is not good. It's the worst job I've ever had. Well, except for one. Uh, pardon? Sir? Uh, sir? Uh, excuse me. Would you like to try my smoked meat log? I finally chased you down, Mr. Belvedere Head. Head feeling funny. Black folks leaving in their car. Haven't slept in five days. Woozy. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Rufus Griffin, the soul brother who keeps things smooth and real and smooth. Go, Rupert! Better run, Belvedere! Rufus Griffin gonna beat you with his funkiness! I'm telling! Ah, you bastard! Ah, you bastard! How will I live this down? Don't rot your brains with these jive games, kids! Let me bash him out instead! Stop right there, pal! Hey, stop it! Ow! Damn it! Ow! Hey, stop it! Ah, you bastard! Hey, video games aren't supposed to hurt! Damn, if this crib don't have a lot of kids in it! <laughs> Drop that kid's ball. I spleen! Ah, you bastard! Ah. Hey! Ah. I want my mommy! Ah. Hey, stop it! Ow! Ow! Bad touch! I 
Rufus talk about, Rufus? It's a monster! Have a fist of dynamite! For a little black snack power. Huh? Half for me to TCB. Ow! Bad touch. Hey, stop it! Better run, Belvedere. Rufus Griffin gonna beat you with his funkiness. Ow! Ah, you bastard! Stop wasting food! <laughs> Just two days until retirement. All about the snacks. Ah, you bastard! Ah, you bastard! Time to turn this jab into fuck. Cut that out. Ah, you bastard! Can you dig it? Hey, video games are supposed to hurt. Even more intense than that time I forgot how to sit my ass down. <laughs> nice try, Belvedere, but I don't follow the man's rules. Show your face, Belvedere! Cause I'm gonna mess you up worse than breast augmentation surgery messed up that one formerly hot chick who was in that movie where that Jewish kid stuck his thing in a pie. Man, this is one whacked out pad. That stings, it does.
it's time to rock the house. No hitting. Untie me. Save me, mister. Please don't hit. Black Panthers. Shoot, them kiddies got nothing on a black flipping. Sweet ass bitch. Hmm. Thank the Lord. Go oh God, it's your birthday. Go oh God, it's your birthday. Punch your ticket, sir. I've been bad. My ticket's punched. Hundred tickets to the one who brings me his head. Oh, no. What the hell is going on? <laughs> hell is right. Oh, hell no. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! No oh, crap! Bring it on! Hey! Belvedere done lost his head! <laughs> hey! Belvedere done. Ah, you bastard! <laughs> oh, it's time to rock the house. Okay, Mr. Belvedere, you've escaped me so far, but I'm on to you again. And it looks like now you're over at the Indian Casino. I will see you there, my evil nemesis. Right after one short game of virtual stuck behind a bus. Oh, my stomach again. I'm beginning to feel like a toboggan.
I just need to work my way down the lung, through the bladder. Oh, dear God. Would you mind calling me Sean? Sean? Yeah, I just I feel like a Sean. Whoops. Information said nothing about a scouting outpost in the lung. I've been sterilized! How I will look back on my adventures here. I slid through some veins, jumped on some cysts, and squeezed through some sphincters. Good times. Good times. Kidney stones, urinal cakes, floating tiles. At least I don't have to touch the yellow water. Never to be born! I've been sterilized! Fortunately, these kidney stones make decent platforms. That trooper alerts his brethren. I'll see more sperm than the lead actress in a Bukaki video. I must eliminate that sperm trooper before he leaves this fleshy expressway. Unless I hit each and every speed boost, I have no chance of success. that trash in here. This is my house. That was more pathetic than that game of Marco Polo I played with Helen Keller. 
Marco, 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 Marco. Ah, the testicles at last. And look, a reception committee. Well, it is a game of bad day to be a sperm. I can probably stand safely on any area that has already blown up. Excellent! My ray gun boats now penetrate multiple enemies! I see security has been beefed up since my last infiltration into the testicular region. Very well, I like a good spermy challenge.
How the hell can he afford an Eames chair? Chapter 1. Killing Stuff Oh my, this chair is orgasmic! Oh, I hope these diapers absorb semen. Oh man, Jolly Farm Review? When will American television stop ripping off the Brits? First men behaving badly, and now this? There's nothing better than a full bush. Oh, I miss the 70s. And action! If one of you little brats breathes on me again, you can kiss your ears goodbye! Cut! God, you're so Great! Another of those tapes! I'll never get past those guys without creating a distraction. Maybe if I dropped a sandbag on that stone-eating limey. Cut! And... action! Who leaves these things out? Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to... Oh my god! What a terrible accident! I... I should go. Almost there. If I can just cross through here and sneak into the dressing rooms... modeling and some internet stuff, but I'd really like to be in something where I don't have to wash my hair afterwards. I really think you've got the perfect face for TV, stage, the big screen, and I only take a 60% commission. Those two are blocking the door. I have to find a way to move them. Hmm. Time for an old-fashioned crank call. Wannabe, please call the clinic. Uh, apparently you got an infection from a late actor that we cannot reference for legal reasons. Hey, I've got to talk to a guy about not getting herpes. I'll call you. Tom Tucker's dressing room is at the end of this hallway, but there's too many guards. Maybe I can slip through these side doors. Uh, I asked for a bowl of green chocolate candies. Yes, they're here, but I asked for forest green, not seafoam green. Yes, I know I can change them to forest green just by touching them, but that's not the point. When Jesus asks for forest green, he means forest green. Capiche? You know, after dying for your sins, the least you could do is get me the right color candy. 
That's it. The Plague of Locusts is back on. Is that intern back with me, Rum, yet? I'm starting to get the shakes. I'm thinking about patches on both eyes. That'll make me look hella tough. Mustn't shine me pegs too much. If I'm too glossy, I'm bound to lose me street cred. Say that to me. After all we've been through. Promises. promises with your body. Promises with your horn. <laughs> you said you were gonna make me Mrs. Honky McLongbottom. <laughs> oh, I don't want a handkerchief. It's gonna be tied to a bunch of other handkerchiefs. And I'm gonna pull and pull and they'll just keep coming and coming in all different colors and... Well, I guess maybe that is kind of funny. How can you say that to me? After all we've been through! Look, you made promises. Promises with your body. Promises with your horn. You said you were gonna make me Mrs. Honky McLongbottom. This was converted into my dressing room after my old one was appropriated as a greenhouse by that bitch Diane Simmons. This place is not large enough to hold my various awards for excellence in Asian news reporting. This is more pathetic than that time I taught Peter about Christopher Columbus. <laughs> Too many cigarettes. Yeah! It's all just part of the job, ma'am. So, Officer Swanson, tell me, have you ever had to hog-tie someone with those rippling arms of yours? You know, you're a good person. Smells like Vitalis and self-hatred. But it's the wrong scent. That must mean Tom Tucker's not the father. So who is? The dog track! Seabreeze races there! It's a long shot, but maybe I could find something there to clear my name. Tom, I'm standing here wondering who left a steaming three-coiler on my desk. I see. Perhaps I'll respond in kind. Watch yourself, Belvedere. I'm coming for you. Goodbye, world. You won't have Gladys Anderson to sodomize with a shoe anymore. <sighs> oh my god. This is a sign. God wants me to continue selling sexual favors for money. I hear you, Lord. Hey, you looking for a patty? If you're looking for junk in the trunk, I'm a freaking SUV. Excuse me, bad hooker coming through. Oh crap! Oh crap! Hey, stop it! Ah, you bastard! Ah, you bastard! Craps and sluts? This place is pretty kinky. Ah, right in the jewel! Hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! 
I don't kiss on the map. I can't risk falling. Oh crap! Typical white man. Always after the red man. After the red man. My milkshake is better than yours. Oh, those New York boys got nothing on this snack. Hey, stop it! After the red man. Ah, you bastard! Don't bother me. I'm worried. in town. Hey, stop it! Get him! This is all. This reminds me of a time I went to the disco. Watch how I whack my pinata. There we go. Ow! Happy pinatas in your glass candy. Go down! I tip my hat to you, sir. You've won this round.
And if anyone can show just cause. Oh, crap! According to Bertram's book, his lair should be nearby. What the deuce? Aha! Bertram's secret lair. I must get past those guards. Damn! A metal detector! I will need a distraction. Time to use my mind control device. Blast! I cannot mind control those I'm about to lose sight of. Select me for your club due to my encyclopedic knowledge of Star Trek trivia. Yeah, maybe if you weren't such a loser. Oh, God! It's hideous! My eyes! My eyes! <laughs> Oh, to be the Lindbergh baby right about now. What are you? Stop staring at me! No mutants! Oh, that's it, man. Game over. I'm just gonna kill you all. Oh, that was almost completely useless. Apparently Bertram couldn't afford a floor in here. But oh my, look at the pretty floating disc! The armor on those turrets is too thick. I will need to destroy them from the inside.
This is Trisha Takanawa with Channel 5 News. A fierce battle has broken out here in another of Kohog's secret underground lairs. The conflict here is fierce and devastating, with little hope of a peaceful settlement. on top of the electricity generators. Ah! It's too many clones. I need to destroy these cloning pods. Across this toxic slug. Hmm. It appears I must slide through each of these slaloms to activate the security door. Excellent. Ricochet walls plus ray gun equals fun for Stewie. The armor on those turrets is too thick. I will need to destroy them from the inside.
Oh, damn my small stature! Oh, if I were big, just think where I would be. Hmm? Must be the armory. What a fantastic opportunity to power up my ray gun. Now I can charge up for an area effect blast. I feel like a rat in a maze, but the cheese is power. I do even more damage! From now on, all finger painting will be done in red.
Congratulations, you're responsible for my 100th reaping of the game. Here's your prize. about the genocide and stuff. Ah, you bastard! Iodine stained shrimp, so little time. Ah, you bastard! Oh crap! Far east side, yo. Oh, crap! Hey, stop it! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! Oh, crap! I see you are fat, so I challenge you to a hot dog eating contest. If you can eat more than me, you win. I have to eat more hot dogs than skinny in order to win, eh? Your magic doesn't work here, fat boy. I couldn't find bigger ones than this. I need more to be satisfied. Tasty are these snacks. New York whores got nothing on this snack move. 
Hey, looks like this one's free. Ah, you bastard! Somebody fight. Man, we must have blown our budget hiring all those characters. We couldn't afford another mini game, so uh how about pressing a button? Yeah, do that. Yay! Hey, stop it! Hey, buddy! Up, switch! Tag, sir! I'm a bit winded! Up, switch! How about this, brigand? Ah, you bastard! Take this, ruffian! 
tag, sir! Enough of your roughneck tactics! Oh! I'm a bit winded! Ouch! Too bad. I was hoping those guys could have told me where Mr. Belvedere is hiding. Jeez, you can never find your way out of these casinos. Uh, hey there, uh, skimps on maintenance. Uh, do you know the way out of here? <laughs> There's that freaky head again. This is not over. To the ducks! Looks like the police had the same thought I did. The place is crawling with them. Gonna have to be careful if I'm gonna get through the crowd here. The father has to be here somewhere. Maybe I can get the scent off of these drop tickets. Have you seen this dog? Walks on his hind legs, drinks martinis, dry sense of humor. Up next, Lone Sharks cut my face. I'm free of STDs, but not the gambling bug. Nope, not this one. Maybe the father of Seabreeze's puppies is in the luxury boxes. Hey, there's Carter, that son of a... Damn it, wish I had a punch button. I'd rather be beating my nanny.
really not that hot. It's certainly no worse than Florida. And our elections are more honest. How can these people sleep at night? Blowing all their money while there's people like me who have to drink cheap booze? My chosen canine had best win this time. I cannot afford... Nope, not this one. snot on this one. What are we protecting the Maya from again? Avocados. Don't ask. That rabbit is a real go-getter. He's won every race so far. Mm, I think I found my new public works director. That's the kind of guy that could lock his keys out of the car. Steady now. I love dog races, but not as much as I love taffy. And I am a man who loves his taffy. Didn't I just leave this guy? isn't on this one. Biological weapons? But we agreed no germ warfare! Probably do me well to destroy these barrels of disease.
hiding. I've been going down so much, I feel like a dark side hooker. Griffin runs from nothing! I think it would be a good idea to avoid the boiling liquid, don't you? We'll have to jump the old fashioned way. He can hide from me at the top of this rocket. Ha! That's so funny I forgot to laugh. Excuse me that first. Ha! I think a missile volley would be useful here.
Ugh, a slow clap? Really? That's more cliché than that time I did that late-night talk show monologue. Why is nothing happening? Your cutaways won't work here, Stuart. They're much more expensive in a video game and take up far too much disk space. Phew, that's a shame. I had a pretty good bit on erectile dysfunction. Did you hear about the guy who got a Viagra stuck in his throat? He woke up with a stiff neck. <laughs> oh, my father's joke. Enough of this banter. Let's war! Careful where you aim that thing. I wouldn't want you to miss and kill your best friend. Rupert, you... See, this is what happens when you go gallivanting around in someone else's hat. Once this satellite is launched, no one will be safe from my mind control, and Rupert will spend eternity circling the Earth alone. Not if I have anything to say about it. Splendid! That upgrade means I do even more damage! Fabulous, those blast doors only leave a small hole to fire through. Those doors of the I have tracking capabilities. I have to shoot them down. I know. I'll pretend they're the dog, and I'm every bar slut he's ever propositioned. Any minute now. Oh no, Stewie's just destroyed my satellite. <laughs> you, you, you know who that is? You know what I'm doing? That's you. That's what you sound like. This isn't over, Stuart. It's time we duke it out. Mano a mano. Let's say the playground in ten minutes. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Well, I could reschedule that. Um, let's say thirty minutes, but know that it could really be more like forty-five. Excellent. I'll see you there. Here I come, Belvedere. Come out, come out, wherever you are. What the hell? I am an automaton nuclear neo-human android. You may call me Anna. I am a robot ninja from the planet England, sent here to seek and destroy Mr. Belvedere and all who stand in my way. And I can do both regular chicks and robot chicks. Yeah. Awesome. Halt, sandwich! Resistance is futile! <laughs> ah, you bastard! Oh! 
Anna will not be stopped by seamen. Oh, crap! Hey, stop it! Ordinary sailors are no match for a cyborg ninja from the year 2015. Ah, you bastard! Ah, you bastard! Fight me, sailors. There'll be plenty of time to catch syphilis from prostitutes afterwards. Oh, crap! Hey, stop it! Adam, men! Anna's prediction, pain. Repel border! Ah, you bastard! Deliveries made in the rear? You there! Stop! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Come get some! Ninja Shield, Anna's most lovable enemy. Anna kind of has to take a whiz in his thing. down. Hey, stop it! Hey, stop it! This unit just got a crazy idea! Huh? Ah! Why? 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 I'm gonna need a disguise so I can get up in the bleachers to search for that ticket. Perfect. Now I just have to get that guy out from the counter.
Ew, there's snot on this one. Will you choke me with your stick? Did you just ask me to choke you with my stick? No. Because that's what it sounded like. No way! No, 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 a little. I'm dancing on the gate! Nope, not this one. Get away from my candy, you weirdo! Hey, buddy! Is that the temperature control for the popcorn popper? Ah! Holy living crap! Fire! Ah! What the? These, what are these fire extinguishers? They're just painted coffee cans! Help! Hey, you think we should do something about that, Jerry? Meh, we're not firemen. Now I can infiltrate the stands without being seen. <sighs> this will not end well. Hey, Mr. Bender, you seen a dog around here? All right, now I can get down to some serious sleuthing. Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, crap. I better fill these people's orders, otherwise my cover will be blown. If I talk to someone who didn't order, I'll get caught. So I better remember who ordered. I need a hot dog! Who do I have to sleep with to get served around here? I'm hungry. My nose is empty. Thanks. I've got the munchies. Ooh -hoo. I require some cotton candy and a large fruit punch. Hey, over here! Thanks for the grub, Bob. I wish Cleveland would just leave me. Nachos, I got nachos! Yo, hot stuff! Hey, Bender, show me your nuts. I need another hot dog, because I ate the other one already. Yo, food selling guy. Now paint my house. See, I'm fat, so I like food. Nachos, I got nachos! Hey, I want to stuff my face. I want to be serviced. How about some service? Yeah, that hot dog didn't stand a chance. Give me another! Hey, Bender, show me your nuts. Man, I didn't realize how much food I love five-year-old hot dogs. I just love artificial food products. Ooh, yummy. Now that these morons are sated, I can get to work looking for that stuff. This is the scent. The culprit is here. But how do I draw him out? I've got it. If I disguise myself as Seabreeze and win the race, maybe he'll come to me. But how am I going to manage to beat those other dogs? What a good-looking question. And I think I might have a sexually compatible answer. Pills? Look, I don't want to host a right-wing radio talk show. And mega dittos to you, sir. Just slip these pills into the dog's food, and you can have sex with them while they're unconscious. Actually, I just want to win the race. 
Well, whatever you're into. Here we go. Now I just need to slip a little of this into each dog's dish, and I'll win by a long shot. Gotta be careful not to get spotted, though, by the dogs or those kennel workers. I wish my name was Chet. People would be like, hey Chet, and I'd be like, hey. These kennels are much nicer than the ones in Bangkok. God, now that was a weekend. I'm standing here in the kennels at the Quahog dog track to address... That guy's gonna be a problem. I need to do something to get him out of the way. Is that the race trophy? I think I thought of a way to get his attention. All these dogs do is bark and crap. I hate my job. Ah, crap! And they're off. Out in front, it's Seinfeld, followed closely by the British office, followed by anything with John Stewart in it except Death to Smoochie. Back in the pack, it's Becker, but now Becker's stumbling badly. Becker is fading. Becker's being passed by reruns of Night Court and that infomercial with the Chinese guy selling real estate. Trailing them all, it's test pattern. And just That's not Seabreeze. That's Brian. Arrest that dog. I'm not the father of Seabreeze's puppies, Joe. I'm innocent. Sentimental hogwash. But the real father is right here with us. And he is none other than Glenn Quagmire. What? Still less hair than a Greek chick. Quagmire, huh? Wow, I 
Kind of thought it was going to be that billionaire. You know, the guy that used to own that cable news station and was married to that 80s workout queen. She hasn't really worked in a while. Kind of long in the tooth. Well, she did have that one movie with that actress with the fat ass. Are you trying to get us sued? Bring it on! Your sand castle is substandard. It shall be destroyed. You cannot confuse my program with your all beat sex orgy. There's the dude. This was like a brand new bikini. Picadula? Stop with the negativity. Your jiggly bikini clad asses will not distract me from my mission. Hey, stop hard. This is certainly a target rich environment. Rich? I'll tell you what's rich. The amusing folksy monologues of Young Will Rogers. But me, I like the visual slapstick gag. Like this comically oversized powder puff. Makeup! <laughs> now that's rich. Let me off, Johnny. Since you be tearing this town limb from limb, and since no one seems man enough to make you walk the plank, we've flown in one of your largest nemesises. Er, ne nemesi. Hmm. If I be remembering my Latin rightly, I, I do believe the proper word would be nemesis. Yeah, that'd be right. Fine with me, bring it on! What's the matter? Nothing to say for yourself? You were too busy hanging out on your island to record one line for some video game? Okay, I got my shot. Let's do this! says, thank you, Jesus. Go, Jesus. It's Christmas. Go, Jesus. It's Christmas. Ah, oh, Peter, there you are. Lois?
Thomas. You escaped from Mr. Belvedere. Peter, there is no Mr. Belvedere. He's just a TV character that we can use because Fox owns the rights to him. But aside from that, the actor who played him has been dead for years. You destroyed half of Quahog looking for something that doesn't exist. Oh my god! I'm a monster! All the people whose asses I kicked! I know you must feel bad, Peter. But maybe if you try to make amends with those people... You make a lot of sense, Lois. And not to get all touchy-feely on you, but what I hear you saying is that this is the kind of regret that is only cured by serious, hardcore drinking. I love you, problem-solving wife. This is your last chance, Stuart. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as brother and brother. Interesting offer. Do you have a dental plan? I... I, I haven't really thought about it. You expect me to work without benefits? I do speak English, you know. No, I think the best thing is for me to kill you. First clones are now holograms. Bertram, you get it. You're powerful. He must get burned before he loses himself amongst more holograms. Damn you, stay still! to rule the world if you're nothing but a big baby. Yeah? Well, I got your big baby right here. Oh, hey, man, what the hell? We may be brothers, but that doesn't mean I'm comfortable seeing your bone pony. Who's the big baby now, bitch? I've learned how to reverse your miniaturization effect. Now I'm bigger than you'll ever be. I've learned how to reverse your miniaturization effect. Now I'm bigger than you'll ever be. I hardly felt that. Time for you to die. Ah! Thanks for the hotspot I gave Bertram, I have a window of opportunity. Ground if I hope to do him any damage. Shrunk his package because he has a small package.
Sorry I shrunk his package. Because he has a small package. Gave person, I have a window of opportunity. We've got to fight him over there by the sandbox. Of course, I must destroy the device on his ray gun to shrink him back to size. Find a way to get that gun at ground level. Now's my chance to destroy that device on his gun. I heard you felt that. Time for you to die. Give up now, and I might spare you. Damn you, stay still! Your anguish sustains me. <laughs> Very well, Stuart. You've defeated me fair and square. I have no option but to do this. Mommy! What? Oh, that is such a vagina thing to do. Maybe so. But the fact is, I live to fight another day. Until next time, Stuart, I leave you with this. Blast! Yeah, that was time well spent. Oh, Rupert, what a day. I just want to get home, draw a hot bath, and spend some quality time with my thoughts. No, you can't watch. I'll leave the door cracked. Wow, well, Horace, I can't believe I destroyed the town and hurt all those people. And all to find a guy who doesn't even exist. What the hell was I thinking? Holy crap, I knew it! Wait, 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 wait. I already paid for this. Let's do this. But don't hit me in the stomach for a while. You know, because of the beer.
Hey, stop it! I'm fine, Lois. In fact, I learned something today. You can't always trust your feelings. Especially after watching five straight days of Mr. Belvedere with no sleep, and while constantly getting hit in the head by a very coincidentally large number of objects. Well, I learned that the dog track is horse racing for poor people. And I learned that I've got to stop overscheduling myself. I mean, look at this. Booked solid through next Thursday. You know, there's just one thing I don't get. I know I was out of my mind in every way, but I swear that Mr. Belvedere head floating up in the sky was real. Hey, there it is again! What the hell is that? Oh, you're a hoot, Mr. Belvedere. Okay, now here's my screech. 